you'll never guess which big American bank is going bankrupt next. And just like Lehman Brothers, the government won't save the dear friend. Imagine it's 3 p.m. on a Friday afternoon and you're sitting at your desk. The markets are about to close and you're catching up on a few things before the weekend arrives. A call comes in. It's your wife. She wants to know when you'll be home. Then this headline hits your computer screen. One of the world's biggest banks just collapsed at first it seems like a hoax. Perhaps a misprint. But the familiar face of a well-known financial journalist hits your favorite financial news site and says, I don't know how they didn't see it before. The bank was leveraged 349 to 1. On the live video you are watching, you see top investment bankers hastily walking to their chauffeured vehicles. Paparazzi surround them. That's right, says the familiar face on the screen. The stock market has collapsed and even the masters of the universe are selling their stock in droves. The ticker on the screen indicates that Dow Jones has just dropped another 500 points. Simultaneously, stock futures on world markets in Tokyo, London and Shanghai plummet. I just can't believe it, he says. I just can't believe it. Your heart skips a beat. Your CDs, your bonds, your own stocks, your wife. A chill of cold fear goes down your spine. The long hours. The lost vacation time. The missed trips to your kids' events. Suddenly, you get a comforting thought. Surely there is some protection. Surely everything's not lost. Not for you. You ask, what about the government? They have to bail us out again, right? You turn, and on the screen are the most gut-wrenching words you've ever seen. White House announces no bailout is coming. Hello. My name is Michael Lombardi. I'm the founder of Lombardi Publishing Corporation, a financial forecasting firm I started 30 years ago. The scenario I've just shared isn't fiction. There is a major US bank that right now is leveraged 349 to 1 and our government isn't doing a damn thing about it. But we're not worried. And neither are our clients. Just like we weren't worried when Lehman Brothers collapsed in late 2008. Let me explain. If you were around in 2007, you remember no one was calling for the collapse of the markets that happened in 2008. That's no one, but us. Here's the exact email I sent our customers in 2007 warning about what was going to happen. Over the past few weeks I've written about subprime lenders and how their demise will hurt the US housing market the economy and the stock market. There's no escaping the carnage headed our way because the housing market and subprime business are falling apart. I remember people left off our outrageous predictions back then. But we persisted. By late 2007, we were warning our customers that we were headed for a financial catastrophe. When we looked deep into how over-leveraged big banks were back then, we didn't like what we saw. In the fall of 2007, we started begging our readers to get out of stocks, especially real estate and banking stocks. On November 29, 2007, I sent this urgent alert out to our customers, the Dow Jones Industrial Average, the S&P 500 and the other major stock market indices finished yesterday with the best two-day showing since 2002. I'm looking at the market rally of the past two days as a classic stock market bear trap. As the economy gets closer to contraction, 2008 will likely be a most challenging economic year for Americans. The rest is history. Everything started to blow up in 2008 and billions of dollars in stock market equity vanished in the blink of an eye. The Dow dropped over 40% between September and March. The worst market crash since 1929. It was a devastating time for retirees, investors, executives and employees. Now, seven years later, we're in the late stages of a great bull market. Everybody thinks things are going fine. What happened in 2008 is the last thing on people's minds. The government seems to have the banks under control. It seems the banks have learned their lesson. And we won't repeat the past. But let me warn you. That's not what my research shows. Shocking government document exposes a fraud 70 times bigger than Lehman Brothers you see. I recently commissioned a research team to investigate the soundness of America's financial system. Very much like I did in 2007, months before Lehman collapsed and the financial system unraveled. To be clear, I'm not an alarmist. And I'm not a pessimist by nature. In fact, I much prefer it when times are good and everybody is making tons of money. Who doesn't? But I'm also not the type to bury my head in the sand. That kind of delusional thinking leads to the poor house. After all, 
There are many warning signs right now that the stock market has reached its top. And a crash is not only inevitable, but also imminent. Few are suspecting it, just like nobody expected the 2008 collapse. I told my research team I want to know exactly what the trigger would be for the plunge and just how far stocks would fall. I had no idea what we would turn up. But what we uncovered is so astonishing. So urgent. And potentially so destructive for so many retirees, and so many livelihoods, I created this presentation to bring the results of our investigation to you. If you have any money in the markets, this will affect you. If you have a 401k or mutual fund, this will affect you. If you have any retirement savings or anything in the US dollars, this will affect you. Our revelation came when we stumbled upon a little known government agency's website. I doubt one in 1000 Americans would recognize this government department. It may be the last place anyone would ever look for the kind of information we uncovered. The smoking gun of the next catastrophic financial scandal buried deep on page 26 of the latest quarterly report from this government agency, we found something that made my jaw hit the floor. It was the same reaction I had when I first saw Lehman's balance sheet. Only this time it could be a whole lot worse. A much bigger catalyst that could devastate the global economy. Unraveling every market, every stock, and every retirement account. Take a look. The line I point to on this document reveals the precarious financial situation of one of Wall Street's biggest banks. A bank much bigger and more powerful than Lehman. Few would ever believe this bank could fail. But it's now pumped up its leverage to catastrophic heights. A move that I believe will ultimately bring its own destruction. And the US economies, too. In a moment, you'll see why this clue is just the first of many in a much larger financial scandal. The tip of the iceberg in a coming market collapse like we've never seen before. Why it will be infinitely worse than the last crisis. Why no bailout can save it this time around. And why we've passed the tipping point. But not all will be bad. How you could protect yourself and profit from the undoing of this bank. Although I believe the inevitable crisis will devastate the majority of unsuspecting investors. There are always ways you could safeguard your money. And even turn a profit in any market. At a moment. I'll reveal a handful of potential safe haven investments I've recommended my readers use to shelter their money. It includes a series of banks that have never collapsed, never needed a bailout, and are immune to any financial collapse. Banks that pay up to 400% more than the average bank CDs. Some have even grown their payouts as high as 36% in recent years. More on that in just a moment. But first. Let me show you why I believe the revelation in this document makes this bank's collapse not only inevitable, but also imminent. We're past the financial tipping point. When Lehman collapsed in September 2008, it was ridiculously over leveraged. What's more, they tried to cover up their massive potential losses. Then one day they couldn't keep the lid on it any longer. The crack in their ship was exposed as a massive hole that sunk the entire vessel, bringing the US economy down with it. Almost nobody saw the crisis coming. But as I said before, we warned our readers about the carnage headed our way. Right through 2007, we were telling our readers to get out of stocks and to get ready for a collapse. A collapse that I believe is about to happen again. That's because the next big bank to fail is over leveraged 349 to 1 right now. That's simply unheard of. It means that for every $349 of obligations, it actually has only $1. It has stacked up an incredible $44 trillion in obligations. Yes, that's trillion, with a very big T, that's 2.5 times as much as the US government's debt, 2.5 times more than the combined GDP of Europe, and 70 times more leveraged than Lehman Brothers before they collapsed. There's no turning back now. No way to cap it or put a lid on it. Regulations won't save us. That's because bubbles don't deflate, they explode. I'm convinced that once this bank's finances come out of the dark and splash across the mainstream, becoming what everyone is talking about, the magnitude of the crash that follows will be unimaginable. What will happen next? The Dow at 7,000 or below. 401. K.S. Emptying fast. The dollar collapsing. Thick insurance not enough to cover deposits. Washington paralyzed. Hard to believe? It was for me, too. But once you consider my evidence, and the history behind this, 
I think you'll make one unavoidable conclusion, we're on the precipice of a massive explosion that's about to cause the American economy to unwind. One that this bank paved the way for with irresponsible trading practices. The same kind that detonated the economy in 2008. But now it's reached an unfathomable scale. And no government or central bank can bail them out. Just like with Lehman, the collapse will just be the tip of the iceberg. An event that exposes a much bigger swindle perpetrated by Wall Street's banks. Only this time we're talking about the largest debt ever amassed in history. A massive $202 trillion stack of obligations they created out of thin air. That's more than 2.5 times bigger than the world economy. And more money than has ever been created at any time in history. A $202 trillion disaster it's unbelievable. Most can't even wrap their heads around debt numbers. In short, a bailout is impossible. Yet I doubt 1 in 1,000 Americans is privy to it. Not even Wall Street pundits or brokers are aware. Of course, I'm talking about derivatives. You may remember derivatives mentioned during the last crisis. The financial contracts that were swapped haphazardly between the biggest financial institutions in the world. Warren Buffett famously called them financial weapons of mass destruction. Yet few understand them. Or just how catastrophic their impact could be. Especially when we're talking about sums in the tens of trillions. Put simply, derivatives are nothing more than a legalized form of gambling. A bet that something will either happen or will not happen in the future. In the end, someone will win money and someone else will lose money. But here's the thing. Despite the fact that Lehman's collapse was triggered by these toxic contracts from the housing and loan markets. That other large banks unraveled in the aftermath. Requiring hundreds of billions in bailouts. And that Washington claims to have gotten the situation under control with tight regulations. The banks didn't learn their lesson. They're still swapping stacks upon stacks of derivatives. According to the document you've already seen, the sum now totals an unbelievable $202 trillion. Take a look at the bottom line. $202 trillion more than 2.5x the size of the world economy is a gigantic time bomb that must go off at some point. The question isn't if, but when. And that's where this gets scary. The pin to prick this bubble is closer than you might think. As you know, the Federal Reserve has repeatedly told us that interest rates will rise. And that's when I believe the derivatives market will begin to unwind. Why? Because most of these derivatives, 77% to be precise, are what are known as interest swaps. I won't get into a financial definition here, but they are highly sensitive to interest rate fluctuations. Even a tiny interest rate raise could cause the entire Ponzi scheme to unwind. We're not the only ones who've noticed either. Bloomberg says that when the Fed hikes rates, for banks, which count interest rate swaps and other instruments as their biggest derivatives holdings, the shock could be severe. This is what happened the last time around. Take a look at interest rates leading up to the subprime mortgage crisis. This caused these interest swap derivatives to come undone at the seams. So while the markets have paid very close attention to what the Fed is doing with rates, few understand the very deep far-reaching bubble it will burst when the time comes. Or how it will leave one of Wall Street's biggest banks stuck owing over $44 trillion in obligations. With nowhere to go but down. Followed by the other top banks in the country that swap toxic assets amongst each other. Triggering a total $202 trillion potential loss of wealth. I'm convinced we will see the markets lose confidence faster than ever. It's no joke because it will cause not only a loss of confidence it will make all stocks, bonds and CDs plummet. But also a loss of money, which is tied to the price of everything. And this isn't just Lehman Brothers. This is potentially more than $202 trillion. This is financial Armageddon. And this could affect everything in your life. Including the food and gas you buy every single day. This time, we'll have nowhere to turn either. Because let's face it. Even if the Fed wanted to help, it couldn't. The $202 trillion it would need to inject into the economy would just be too huge. But here's what you could do. How to find out which big American bank is next to fill in our research report, the next big American bank to collapse, you'll get the name of the bank that's 70x more leveraged than Lehman Brothers. You'll get the details on our investigation, including the $202 trillion derivative bubble. This report contains everything you need to know about the systemic failure we believe is fast approaching. To help you in that matter, 
We've also put together details on the world's ultimate potential safe haven. A place where many investors safeguarded their money during the last crisis. And that could even shelter your savings from the inevitable $202 trillion collapse that I believe is headed our way. I'm talking about financial institutions outside the reach of both the Fed and the derivatives time bomb that I've been showing you. I'm talking about four elite banks that will save you. I'm talking about a unique set of banks that have been tested and proven to withstand the tide of economic destruction. A group of banks that went through the 2008 financial collapse with no worse than a minor hiccup. You see, what traditional investment banks like JP Morgan, Citibank, Wells Fargo and Bank of America received help during the Lehman Brothers collapse. These financial institutions had no failures, no bailouts and no losses. In fact, they are derivative proof. They are regulated tightly by a benevolent power with no ties to the Fed and no history of financial volatility. And over the past 150 years, they've avoided the intermittent crises other banks have experienced. In fact, the reason why banks like Lehman and the colossal giant I have been telling you about in this presentation fail is the exact reason why these banks are so safe. They are regulated and run by a strict team that makes sure they balance their books and forbids them to over leverage. The Swiss Banks of America you'll get all the details on these super safe banks in a bonus report I've put together for you, for elite banks that will save you. Inside this report, you'll find the names of the banks in this unique group and exactly why they are so much safer and more secure than so many other large institutions on the brink of collapse. You'll also see how they could not only safeguard your assets, but also help them grow. In fact, these banks offer a unique income program that pays multiple times more than average bank CDs. A program that is paid out reliably and consistently every year going back as far as 1829. And in recent years the four elite banks you will learn about in my report have boosted their payouts by as much as 25% to 36%. They provide the most consistent and reliable and fastest growing income stream I've ever seen. I consider them a must have for both safety and income, especially in a crisis situation like the one I'm predicting will happen. That's why today I'm also giving you a third free report, 3 Best Bank Guaranteed Income Plans. Containing full details on this income program. The three best plans available right now for potentially safe and rising income. The banks that offer them. And how to enroll online it couldn't be easier. Putting it all together for you at this point, you're probably saying, Okay, Michael. How do I get my hands on the three new reports you and your analysts have just completed so I can find out what big American bank will go bust next, how I could survive and profit off this disaster, and how can I gain access to the elite group of banks that will withstand the crash and pay me? Are three new research reports. The next big American bank to collapse four elite banks that will save you three best bank guaranteed income plans. I'm not going to sell them to you. I'm going to gift them to you. All three of these special investor research reports are yours free and in your hands via email within 48 business hours just for trying my judgment day profit letter. In the next few months alone, what you'll learn in these three reports could make or save you thousands of dollars maybe even hundreds of thousands of dollars depending on how big of an investor you are. I believe fortunes will be lost as the rally in stocks that started in 2009 comes to a screeching halt. You need to position yourself to be among those precious few who actually make money from this event. Holding your hand all the way more important than the three reports, I want to send you our judgment day profit letter. There is no doubt about it. I'm convinced the biggest stock market crash in history is about to happen and that it will devastate the economy. That's what our Judgment Day Profit Letter is all about helping our customers make money as the stock market and the economy fall apart once again. With our Judgment Day Profit Letter, you could make money by buying ups and stocks that rise in value as the market crashes, as the VIX Fear Index soars, as company stock buyback programs go into overdrive, as bond funds invested in stocks take a big hit. And as overleveraged stock market investors exit the market like a herd running from slaughter. Our Judgment Day Profit Letter is a simple 8 page newsletter, the goal of which is to protect the wealth of our readers from the stock market's gyrations, while showing our readers how to profit as the stock market comes down. Short selling of individual stocks, by the way, is banned from the mandate of Judgment Day Profit Letter. In each issue, we review the positions outlined in our three special reports. The next big American bank to collapse four elite banks that will save you three best bank guaranteed income plans you get our judgment day profit letter two ways, we email it to you. 
and you get a secret password for a website you can visit to see the current issue posted online anytime you'd like. Email alerts, which are separate from the newsletter, are sent to you in between the newsletters. Hence, we're in contact with you at least twice a month, 24 times a year. 94% win rate over the past three years. When the bull market started raging after the 2008 collapse, a lot of investors sat on the sidelines. Not me. Instead I went on the hunt for discounted opportunities. The kind that are priced at just a fraction of their actual value. This led to a string of remarkable profit opportunities for readers of my Judgment Day profit letter. Here are a few examples from our portfolio, a media company that surged 276% within 8 months of our recommendation and Arizona food processing company that jumped 92% within 10 months of Pennsylvania spinal implant manufacturer that jumped 85% since our recommendation in my Judgment Day Profit Letter portfolio of recommended investments. I have an unprecedented 46 winners out of 49 stock picks over the past 3 years. That's a 94% win rate at picking investments that went up in value. An unprecedented opportunity for a publication of this nature, we usually charge between $995 and $1995 for one year of service. The three special research reports we are sending you, we've priced at $99 each, $297 total. Since I believe we are headed for the biggest stock market crash we've ever seen, and the most turbulent financial times America has been in since the Great Depression, I wanted to make our Judgment Day profit letter as affordable as possible. Hence, I've slashed the regular subscription rate for one year of Judgment Day profit letter 12 monthly newsletters, 12 monthly e-alerts to $295, and you get the three special, hot off the press research reports I've mentioned for free just for trying our Judgment Day profit letter. Through this special offer, I've slashed another $100 off the regular rate and brought this introductory offer down to the exceptionally low price of only $195 for one year of service. Be one of the fortunate, protect yourself and profit from the stock market crash headed our way. Act now to secure your place, get your three special research reports, and lock in a tremendous discount. To recap, you'll get 12 monthly issues of our Judgment Day Profit Letter Newsletter 12 separate. Monthly e-alerts from Judgment Day Profit Letter These three special research reports for free just for trying Judgment Day Profit Letter. The next big American bank to collapse for elite banks that will save you best bank guaranteed income plans and, of course, everything comes with a money back guarantee. If there is ever a time you are not happy with Judgment Day Profit Letter, you can cancel for a refund of your undelivered issues. The three special research reports. They're yours to keep no matter what. I've told you about we were warning our customers that we were headed for a financial catastrophe. When we looked deep into how over-leveraged big banks were back then, we didn't like what we saw. In the fall of 2007, we started begging our readers to get out of stocks, especially real estate and banking stocks. On November 29, 2007, I sent this urgent alert out to our customers, the Dow Jones Industrial Average the S&P 500 and the other major stock market indices finished yesterday with the best two-day showing since 2002. I'm looking at the market rally of the past two days as a classic stock market bear trap. As the economy gets closer to contraction, 2008 will likely be a most challenging economic year for Americans. The rest is history. Everything started to blow up in 2008 and billions of dollars in stock market equity vanished in the blink of an eye. The Dow dropped over 40% between September and March. The worst market crash since 1929. It was a devastating time for Russian Corporation, a financial forecasting firm I started 30 years ago. The scenario I've just shared isn't fiction. There is a major US bank that right now is leveraged 349 to 1 and our government isn't doing a damn thing about it. But we're not worried. And neither are our clients. Just like we weren't worried when Lehman Brothers collapsed in late 2008. Let me explain. If you were around in 2007, you remember no one was calling for the collapse of the markets that happened in 2008. That's no one, but us. Here's the exact email I sent our customers in 2007 warning about what was going to happen. Over the past few weeks I've written about subprime lenders and how their demise will hurt the US housing market, the economy and the stock market. There's no escaping the carnage headed our way, because the housing market and subprime business are falling apart. I remember people left off our outrageous predictions back then. But we persisted. By late 2007. Audio 
you'll never guess which big American bank is going bankrupt next. And just like Lehman Brothers, the government won't save the dear friend. Imagine it's 3 p.m. on a Friday afternoon and you're sitting at your desk. The markets are about to close and you're catching up on a few things before the weekend arrives. A call comes in. It's your wife. She wants to know when you'll be home. Then this headline hits your computer screen. One of the world's biggest banks just collapsed at first it seems like a hoax. Perhaps a misprint. But the familiar face of a well-known financial journalist hits your favorite financial news site and says, I don't know how they didn't see it before. The bank was leveraged 349 to 1 on the live video you are watching. You see top investment bankers hastily walking to their chauffeured vehicles. Paparazzi surround them. That's right, says the familiar face on the screen. The stock market has collapsed and even the masters of the universe are selling their stock in droves. The ticker on the screen indicates that Dow Jones has just dropped another 500 points. Simultaneously, stock futures on world markets in Tokyo, London and Shanghai plummet. I just can't believe it, he says. I just can't believe it. Your heart skips a beat. Your CDs, your bonds, your own stocks, your wife. A chill of cold fear goes down your spine. The long hours. The lost vacation time. The missed trips to your kids' events. Suddenly, you get a comforting thought. Surely there is some protection. Surely everything's not lost. Not for you. You ask, what about the government? They have to bail us out again, right? You turn, and on the screen are the most gut-wrenching words you've ever seen. White House announces no bailout is coming. Hello. My name is Michael Lombardi. I'm the founder of Lombardi Publicitaries, investors, executives and employees. Now, seven years later, we're in the late stages of a great bull market. Everybody thinks things are going fine. What happened in 2008 is the last thing on people's minds. The government seems to have the banks under control. It seems the banks have learned their lesson. And we won't repeat the past. But let me warn you. That's not what my research shows. Shocking government document exposes a fraud 70 times bigger than Lehman Brothers you see. I recently commissioned a research team to investigate the soundness of America's financial system. Very much like I did in 2007, months before Lehman collapsed and the financial system unraveled. To be clear, I'm not an alarmist. And I'm not a pessimist by nature. In fact, I much prefer it when times are good and everybody is making tons of money. Who doesn't? But I'm also not the type to bury my head in the sand. That kind of delight.